Today, we're going to be making a mock from one of my favorite superheroes. A three-story apartment building set in Gotham City. It's going to have a full interior and even some lights in it. Let's get started. For this mock, I'm going to be incorporating the noodle shop set. And first, we're going to start off with a 32 by 38 base plate. Of course, with my favorite filler brick, the spring-loaded shooter. Right now, I'm showing off the road that we're going to have. Um, it's also going to be the alleyway, so I added some cracks in there and all that stuff. Now, I'm just going to be adding in some gray plates as the flooring or the foundation of the building. Now, I'm going to be adding in some wires just because I have a lamp post that does indeed have a light in it. Uh, like I said in the beginning, we're going to be adding lights into this. It's going to be awesome. But this is going to be the alley side wall. Um, up top, you'll see I have the fire escape, so I'll be incorporating that throughout the build. But yep, just going to place this in nice and snug. And then we have the front entrance. We have a little spot right there for the sign. And then the overhang, you know, just for rain and all that good stuff. But also adding a little more color in there. Next, we got the back wall, something just very simple. And then we have the side wall. I made it easily removable just so we can view inside it a little bit better. Next, I'll be adding a vending machine. And then I'll be adding a table with all the noodle bowls and sauces and stuff like that as well as some benches. Then we'll have the front counter where the food will be served and where you can order and everything like that. Next is the most important part of this is the kitchen. So we'll have like a little stove here and a sink, some brooms and wrenches, and then of course a whole lot of crates to store all that food. I'll add in some customers right here, just make sure they fit and they look good. Next, I'll be tiling off everything. I think for the front, I'm gonna go with a white tile, just a clean, bright look. And it'll help lighten everything up when I add some lights in there. And then for the back, I'm just gonna do some gray tiles, nothing fancy. And that pretty much completes the build that we have here. Just gonna slap this wall back on and then we'll move over to the front of the building. For the front, I'm just gonna add some studs here because I'm gonna have some other minifigs placed there. Then I'm gonna add in this dumpster designed by Tiago. It's a great build. And of course, gotta add the villain to this mock. It's gonna be a wiener dog with a hatchet. <laughs> Then we're going to be adding the border. I went with something super simple, just a black border. And I'll be tiling these off with jumper plates, just to add a little bit more texture. And with that, we are done with the base. Just gotta add in a few final touches, like the noodle shop sign. And then of course, the Batmobile, or in this case, the Tumblr, one of my favorite Batman vehicles. Now it's time to add some apartments. We're gonna do a 20 by 26 plate right here. For this, this is gonna be the front. Uh, just gonna have some really tall windows in here. I want it to be a little bit modern. Uh, added some green accents in there. Now for the side and back wall, of course, we are going to have the fire escape here. Uh, those windows fell off, but we will be adding those in. Obviously, we need somewhere for people to get out in case of an emergency. Um, but yeah, you may notice there are no doors. Um, I kind of forgot to add them in, but I'm just going to pretend like this is only half of the building and, you know, the other half is just somewhere else.
All right, now we got this complete. We're just missing one wall here, which I have right here. Uh, again, easily removable uh, just in case, but uh, we'll add this back in. And of course, I couldn't just make one, I had to make two. Both are identical and both fit on top of one another and you can see the fire escapes match up pretty nicely there. And for the top one, I went a little different. This one has a balcony, so we'll just call this the like suite or something like that, I don't know. But basically the same thing, just has that little balcony. So let's remove this wall here so we get easier access and now it's time to furnish it. For furnishing, I started by putting out some jumper plates just so I know where I'm gonna have everything like the couch, TV, yada, yada, yada. And then we're just gonna tile this bad boy off. I went with tan just because I have an overabundance of it. Then we're gonna also add in this blue and white rug just for some added color. And now it's time to furnish the apartment. I'm putting in a big old flat screen TV uh, with two, uh, I guess, speakers. You can call them bookshelf speakers, whatever. They're gonna have a sick sound system and entertainment system. And then I'm adding in a couch and a coffee table. I stole these from my girlfriend's friend sets. Don't tell her, I'll put them back, don't worry. And then obviously a foosball table, an extra little table with a radio and flower pot. And then I kind of messed up here by accident. So I removed some plates and we uh, restarted like nothing happened. And just adding in an extra table here with some pizza boxes, some extra newspapers, and then another reading chair, I guess, with a light right next to it. And with that, this apartment is all done. I figured we're gonna be seeing this one a lot and people are gonna to wanna to look in there just because of the balcony. So I made sure it looked really good and I'm pretty happy with it. For these other two ones, I just threw in some furniture. I didn't bother tiling anything off because we're really not gonna be able to see it. I'm not even adding lights in there, but they still get the same treatment, big old flat screen TVs and some couches and coffee tables and stuff. One even has a giant plan in there. And of course these stack on top of each other nice and easily. And now it's onto the roof. For the roof, I'm basing it off of this poly bag here where you get Batman on the edge of a roof. <laughs> Uh, right with a gargoyle. I really like this set and it was kind of the inspiration for everything. But again, we're gonna start with the 20 by 26 plate here. And then we are gonna add a little entryway to the roof. And now we're gonna add these sides. I just extended uh, the existing poly bag roof, kept it very simple and then added the top part here. Just a bunch of jumper plates and some masonry bricks. Nothing too complicated. And then I'm just gonna make another side and then slap that on to the corner here. And now we have a full roof. Right here is where Batman goes. And in front is where the gargoyle will go. I really love how this thing looks. Also gonna add an antenna there, just in case. And then of course a little bird that I stole from the noodle shop. So for the floor of this, I didn't know what I was gonna do. I didn't know if I was just gonna keep it like this or tile it off or something like that. But I figured that I would try something a little different. I wanted to do all studs of different colors. So kind of just like a gravel roof. So I got a bunch of dark gray, light gray, white, and some black in there. And I'm just gonna go to town and add as much as I can. This turned out to be a lot harder than I thought because it used a lot more studs than I thought it would. So I was going back and forth, uh, grabbing some more here and there and stuff like that. But while I'm doing this, I wanted to take a moment and thank all of you so, so much for 10,000 subscribers. Holy cow, that came out of nowhere. But just want to let you all know I am super, super grateful and I appreciate it. Definitely a dream come true, but this is definitely more motivation to keep on putting out videos for y'all. So keep on the lookout. I got a lot of ideas up in the brain. I just got to find the free time to make the videos, but I definitely want to make more of an effort to get videos out to you. So I wanted to have some fun here and add kind of like a little picnic setup for Batman, you know, when he's kind of just waiting for something to happen. So I added a picnic blanket and then also a bunch of these wood planks here just to make it a little nicer. 
And then we're gonna add in this umbrella and I think the roof is all good to go. I think it turned out pretty good. I wish I had some more just regular studs, but I had to compromise with some other things. And now for the assembly of everything. On the second floor on the bottom, I put in some lights just to light up the noodle shop. And then we're gonna add all these together. And then finally, we're gonna add the third level also with another light just in case, as well as the rooftops. Can't forget Batman, we're gonna add him in his spot. And then one more thing to do is add all of these wires together. But with that, we have the finished Batman mock. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.